Hi, thanks for joining me for another Affinity Design tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about how to use the transparency tool right after this. Okay, so here I have uh, this document that is um, 11 and a half by 7. So, and the background is blue uh, rectangle that I stuck on it. And um, so today I'm going to be showing you how to use the transparency tool. So I'm just going to go ahead and make some bubbles. And um, for this, I'm going to click on shift to make them perfectly round. And um, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, click on symbols. And I'm going to come here and I'm going to create this symbol. So now I have that I have this symbol here. Um, go back to layers and I'm going to start doing um, copying them I'm going to copy about about that much and um, so I'm going to start making different sizes these are going to be bubbles and uh, I'm going to show you with the transparency tool you can uh, make it transparent on one side so it can see through Okay, so now that we've got that done, um, and these are all symbols, so if I change one, it'll change all of them. I'm going to grab the um, transparency tool, and I'm going to click and drag. As you can tell, it's um, this white circle um, acts as the transparent side, and this acts as the non-transparent side. Um, so you can mess around with this. And I'm going to put it about like this. And then, um, so after I'm done with that, I'm going to come up here and crop these real quick. Crop. Group. Crop these down to size. So um, now that I've got uh, some nice bubbles, I'm going to uh, turn down the opacity real quick. So that won't be too big, too nice. And um, so that's basically how you do it. And there's um, I'm gonna click on one of these, and I'm going to do unsync. I'm gonna do um, detach. And so um, there's different ways you can use this. I just did one, uh, which is the linear. Um, you can do all different ones, radical, elliptical. So this would actually be pretty good for bubbles. So. So you got all the different options. Um, this thing rotates it around, and this thing turns it the direct opposite way. Um, so you got different um, things, and if you don't like how it is, you can just turn this off. It'll be back to normal. But um, so now that we're done with that, I'm gonna zoom out by. Um, hitting command plus or minus and um, I already have, already have this text made so I'm just going to stick that on there thanks for watching my video please subscribe and give me a thumbs